Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Bald and Beardless. I'm Josh, and I want to start off this week's episode by showing you my birthday present. Sonny got this for me. It says it's just a weeper. If you guys wet shave, you know what a weeper is. I actually just learned myself tonight. A weeper is not quite a full-blown cut on your face from shaving, but it's one of those little red bloody bumps that you get, where you peel away just enough skin for the blood to kind of seep up through your capillaries. Very, very disgusting. Very cool shirt. I love it. I'm going to be wearing it a lot from now on. Second thing on my agenda tonight, as always, I'm going to be inducting someone new into the Bald of Fame. Tonight, Elias Codius. You can see he's looking pretty sad, and that's probably because a lot of you guys don't even know who Elias Codius is. Elias Codius is one of the greatest actors of the past 20 years. He's been in so many things. I know you've seen him, and here's a clip. You're gonna have to bang. I don't think it's gonna be necessary. You know, I didn't know Jens lived in a hen house. Did you know that? Jeez, it must be a hen house, because I don't see nothing but chicken shit. I don't want any trouble with you, all right? My parents are gonna be home in a little while. You leave now and we'll forget everything. All right, now, I just got the bullshit. All right, please? I'm here to wipe the floor with your ass, and you know it, and everybody knows it, and you deserve it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what a lot of you guys are going to say. You're going to say, Elias Cody has wasn't bald yet in some kind of wonderful, and technically, you are correct. But he had his hair buzzed, so I'm going to give him a pass. That was 1987. He was still a young man. What, almost 30 years have passed since then, and his acting has only improved with the more hair that he's lost. If you guys, any of you out there want to be actors, if you don't know where to look for some inspiration, put in any Elias Codius movie from about 2000 on, you're going to be blown away. Even before that. I think it was 1998 that The Thin Red Line came out. Some of the best acting I've ever seen. If you guys haven't seen The Thin Red Line yet, put it in tonight. Rent it, buy it, do whatever you got to do. You got to see The Thin Red Line. This guy is amazing in it. Also, I've been making these videos pretty long lately, mostly because I get on diatribes like that about Elias Codius. So I'm going to try to go as fast as I possibly can tonight. I'm going to shave my head. This beard's going to go next week, but tonight I'm still going to work on my head until I get it just right. What I'm going to use is soap from the Los Angeles Shaving Company. There's no real reason I chose this other than I live in Los Angeles, and so I wanted to give a local company a chance. And yeah, I'm just going to jump right into it. I have, what do we got here? Four. I got eight cents, and I'm going to go through them really quickly, smell them, give you my opinion. This is the first time I've smelled them, so I have no idea what to expect. A lot of these are more classic scents. We got lavender, we got some bay rum here, things I've never ever smelled before. So here we go. Hmm. Okay, guys, this is woody lavender. I definitely smell the woods. I don't know if I smell too much lavender in it. It's a good scent, but it's also kind of dull. There's not really a lot going on there, so. It's just not for me. I think a lot of you guys might like that. It's pretty masculine. All right, next one. Vanilla Eucalyptus Mint. Mm. All I smell there is the mint. I don't smell any vanilla. I don't... You know what? I actually might smell a little bit of eucalyptus now that I think about it. But the mint is pretty overpowering. As I said in last week's video, I'm not really a huge fan of mint unless I'm brushing my teeth or, you know washing my mouth out with some mouthwash, so I'm not going to shave my face with that one either. That's alright, we got a lot to choose from here. We're going to find a good one. Next one is Merkbior. I doubt I'm saying that right, but looks like Merkbior to me. Mmm. Mmm. That smells like my grandma's sewing closet. She used to have this really creepy closet in it with a very creepy doll. And uh, I never saw anyone actually go in there other than us kids. And yeah, it used to scare the living hell out of us. That's what this smells like. It actually has kind of a creepy picture on the front. I'll put another one up here so you guys can see it clearly. Yeah, I don't wanna, I don't wanna shave with that. It's gonna give me nightmares. I smelled this one a couple of weeks ago. This is Black Fern. I got this as a sample at a trade show. Hmm, that's a good, that's a good scent. Actually does smell like, uh, like ferns quite a bit. It smells like loam. Loam is a word that I learned, uh, this past week. It means the dirt and the leaves and all the other rotten shit on the bottom of the forest floor. And, um, yeah, that's kind of what it smells like. Eh, I don't know if I want my face smelling like it. It's not a bad smell. A lot of guys I think this would appeal to, but I'm not really one of them. The next one is also going to be a black colored soap. The Black Rose. 
Hmm. There might be something wrong with my nose, but I don't smell anything. I mean, I really literally smell nothing coming out of this tub. <sighs> Maybe the faintest hint. It's like someone took the black fern soap and just diluted it to the max, and you get the very faintest trace of black fern in this. Yeah. No. Good lord, we're running out here. Uh, Santa Monica Bay Rum. I've never smelled a Bay Rum. This is the first Bay Rum for me, so let's give it a shot. Here we go. Oh, that's interesting. That's very... That's exactly what... Well, it's, it's the rum. Um, so this smells like a pirate. Oh, that's cool. Um, I don't know if I would seek that one out on my own, but... I'm going to put it aside. So far, it's the best one. I think the problem I'm having here is these are really sophisticated scents, and I'm not really a sophisticated guy. The scents that I've liked the most so far have been very floral, um, simple kinds of soaps. Um, I really love the Taylor Gold Bond Sandalwood. That was a little bit more complex, but it's not really quite what you guys are saying is traditional through and through sandalwood. So, you know, I'm still learning about a lot of these things, kind of finding out what I like, but so far I'm kind of landing on the floral side of things. Bespoke number one. I don't know what that means. It sounds like a girl's perfume. These are so subtle. There's almost nothing coming out of here either, except for that same black fern scent. Mm. Sorry, people at the Los Angeles Shaving Soap Company. I'm just not really a huge fan so far. But not bad, they're just not necessarily for me. The last one, Topanga Fugari? Fuguar? I, I see this word everywhere. I should have learned what it is by now. Now I look like a complete jackass. But uh, I don't know. Topanga Fulgurer. I don't know how to say this. Good lord. All right, here we go. Last one. Ooh. Now that smells nice. That smells very fresh. Okay, I think we have a winner. Let's give this Bay Rum one last scent. It's your time to shine. Prove yourself if you want to get used. Yeah, that's not for me. It's not a bad smell, but I'm not a pirate. Okay, Topanga Fuguer is what I'll be using today. Oh yeah, that's good. All right, let's do it. Let's do all the drugs. Okay guys, there it is. Topanga Fuguer. Now, a lot of you guys have been telling me over the past week that one of my biggest problems is I'm just not using enough soap. So what I did today, based on a lot of your recommendations on Reddit, was to dump the entire sample container of Topanga into this uh, cereal bowl that I use as a shaving bowl. And hopefully what that's going to allow me to do is to load a lot more soap up into my bristles of my chiseled face grumatorium Fawmir brush with a whip dog handle. As for my blade and my razor, as always, I'm using my Mercure 34C, and the blade that I have in there today is a shark blade. Now, these blades are from Egypt, and I was just thinking a minute ago when I loaded this thing in there that I don't really know, and, you know, let me know if I'm just missing something really obvious. I don't know if I've ever used any product in my entire life from Egypt. Am I missing something? I don't know. Um, like, what else comes from Egypt, you know, other than revolution and death? basically because I like sharks. I think they're cool. I think the logo for this brand is cool. There's really not much more going into this decision than that. So other than that, I'm going to get my brush wet, squeeze it out as I've been told, and give it one shake. And from there, I'm going to put a little bit of water into here and I'm going to load up. We're going to see what kind of lather I get out of this bad boy. Also, before I forget, um, to my knowledge, all of these Los Angeles shaving soaps are vegan, so if that's important to you, well then maybe this is a company you want to try out. So, back to uh, lathering up here. A little bit more water. I always take your advice uh, that I get from Reddit, and then as soon as I start having problems, I just throw it out the window and keep adding more water. But, um, yeah, I guess I'm just eventually going to find my own way, because when I take your advice, I bumble and fuck it up so much that 
Might as well not even be your advice anymore. I'm sorry you can't do this. I really am because I wouldn't have to fucking sit here and watch you fumble around and fuck it up. So this is something I'm just going to have to learn the hard way on my own, I think, lathering. But, uh, all right, we're getting something a little bit good here, I think, today. A little more water. Why not? Ooh. Okay, you know what? I'm actually getting a pretty good lather out of this. It's nice and thick. I can see the peaks on the, uh, on the lather pretty well. It's holding its shape really well. And yeah, I'm not, too, uh, I'm not too ashamed of this. Unfortunately, because this soap didn't stick very well at the bottom of the bowl, I got huge chunks of soap in here, but uh, I'll worry about that when the time comes. All right, guys, cool. Here it is, that's my lather. I'll let's shave. Let's Okay guys, here we go. Before I start, I want to give a shout out to someone on YouTube named Dark Spy. He gave me one of the most interesting pieces of advice I've gotten in a while. And that is to, when you're shaving your head, you don't necessarily have to go with the grain. You can just skip that step and go against the grain. That's what he does. And so that's what I'm going to give a shot here today. And uh, yeah, let's not waste any more time. Let's do it. I think I already have some good weepers on my head. On the back of my head, I am going to go with the grain. It's just tugging so much that I feel like I'm going to rip my scalp off. So I have no intention of scalping myself here tonight. I'm going to go with the grain for one pass in the back. Okay guys, after a first pass, I really smell that fresh, clean scent of the Topanga Fogu And yeah, I actually do recommend this soap a lot in terms of scent. It's really, really great. Not exactly what I expected whenever I, as usual, you know, these soaps really have a tendency to mellow out a lot once you lather them up. And this is no exception. I have a feeling that all the other soaps that I smelled here today would actually smell a lot better lathered up. So maybe I'll do that later tonight after I finish the video and I'll post my, uh, my findings in a little bit of a text underneath my video uh, link on Reddit. But anyway, back to the shave. You can really feel how smooth the front part is where I went against the grain immediately and still how rough and coarse it is back here in the back. But, uh, but yeah, for a first pass, I think I made a lot of improvements over last week. So for those of you out there who don't necessarily want to watch me do a second pass and want to see what it looks like whenever it's all complete, then go to this time code right here. And for those of you guys who do want to stick around, well, here we go. Let's do it. this blade too much it's really getting tugged uh, getting caught up in the back of my hair and causing my scalp to really tug I don't think I felt that with the feather blade or the um, lab blue blade that I felt the persona lab blue that I used the first uh, week that I shaved my head oh, kind of disappointed I like that shark on the goddamn logo Okay guys, uh, you know, this is an okay shave. I, I have a better command, I think, now of the safety razor than I did in the previous two episodes. I didn't really miss any spots, at least not that I can feel. You guys might have a different point of view from looking at the back of my head than I do, but it feels a lot better than, than last week. Maybe a little rough right here, but I don't think it was anywhere near as bad as last week. Really disappointed in this shark blade. I would not recommend this to anybody who shaves their head. Now, I can't speak for it on a beard, but I don't know how it will get any better just because you're using a different part of your face. Um, yeah, this sucker's going right in the garbage and I'll probably never order another one in my life. So 
Thanks a lot, Egypt. Ugh. Aftershave. Fuck you, deodorant. As before, I use this rugged and dapper, mostly because it keeps my head feeling nice and uh, nice and burn free. I used something else the first week I shaved my head and it burned the living hell out of me, so I don't want that to happen again. I trust rugged and dapper not to do that. And besides, it's good. You know what I mean? All right, guys. Here we go. Ah. Rugged and dapper skin fuel. A little overpriced, but it is a good product, so. If you got some money to throw in the garbage, I recommend you pick some up from Amazon. But all right, guys, thank you so much for watching my third and probably final for a while head shaving video. Next week, I promise things are gonna be much better when I shave off this beard. It's gonna be my best episode yet, no doubt about it. I can't wait, because I fucking hate this beard. And in the meantime, if you guys wanna check out my Instagram, I'll put the little thing right here. If you want to check out my book and my movie suggestions, I'll put that down in the description. For everyone who subscribed, I appreciate that. Thank you so, so much. And if anyone out there hasn't subscribed that's watching this today, if you liked what you saw, then please subscribe. I'd appreciate that too. Next time, guys, like I said, the beard. Tune in next week. And until then, you have a good week, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.